Definition of rusting and corrosion Rusting of iron is a chemical process that occurs when iron is exposed to oxygen and water and undergoes a redox reaction. Corrosion of metal is a redox reaction where the metal is oxidized spontaneously when the metal atoms release electrons to form metal ions. Experiment 1 To study the corrosion of copper and iron After leave for 3 days, both solutions in the test tube change. The blue precipitate are present in the test tube that contain copper wire. This is because when copper corrodes or oxidized or ionized, copper to iron, Cl2 plus is formed. While green precipitate are present in the test tube that contain iron wire at the beginning of the experiment. But after leave for another a few days, the brown precipitate are formed. Green precipitate are present when iron, chloride and from iron to iron, Fe2+. Then, the iron to iron will continue oxidize to form iron 3, iron, Fe3+. In this experiment, we use sodium hydroxide in order to do cation test so that we can observe the color change in the solution of the test tube. As the result, we can detect the presence of Cu2 plus iron and Fe3 plus iron. In conclusion of this experiment, copper metal corrode to produce blue precipitate and iron metal corrode to produce brown precipitate. Iron rusting as a redox reaction. Firstly, we need to know rusting of iron occur when water and oxygen are present. Rusting of iron is a redox reaction where oxygen acts as an oxidation agent while iron acts as a reduction agent. From the diagram, we can see when iron comes in contact with water and is exposed to oxygen, a simple chemical cell is formed. The surface of the iron in the middle of the water droplet where the concentration of oxygen is low serves as the anode which is the negative terminal. Iron atom loses electrons and undergoes oxidation to form iron 2 ions Fe2+, the half equation of the oxidation at the anode. Then, electron will flow through the iron to the end of the water droplet where the concentration of oxygen is higher. The iron surface at that part becomes the cathode, which is the positive terminal, where the reduction will occur. Oxygen that dissolves in water accepts electrons and undergoes reduction to form hydroxide ions. Half equation of reduction at the cathode. The iron ion that produced will react with hydroxide ions to form iron to hydroxide. Iron 2 is green but rust in brown because iron 2 hydroxide undergoes continuous oxidation with oxygen to form hydro hydrate iron oxide. X is an integer that has various values. Iron 3 oxide, or we call it as a rust, are brittle, permeable, and does not stick truly. Water and oxygen can permeate into iron metal underneath and make the iron oxide will continuously rot. When we put acid and salt in the water droplet, the solution become a better electrolyte and have the higher electroconductivity of water. So the rusting of iron occur will be faster. Next, we're going to discuss about the effect of other metals on rusting. This is called as the reactivity of the metals. As we can see, the upper the position of the metal, the higher reactivity of the metal. Let's take a look on the diagram. Magnesium, aluminium and zinc is located on the upper position, while tin, lead and copper is on the lower position. This means that magnesium, aluminium and zinc is more electropositive and easier to release electron. To study about the effect of other metals on rusting, we have done an experiment. So, 
As you can see in the diagram, each test tube was filled with agar solution, phenolphthalein, and potassium hexacyanoferrate 3 solution. In test tube B, the iron nail was coiled with the magnesium ribbon. Test tube Q coiled with zinc strip. Test tube R coiled with tin strip. Test tube S coiled with copper strip. And lastly, the test tube T is not coiled with any strip. To get the result, the test tube was left aside for a day. After a day, we can see a pink color spot presents in test tube P and Q due to the absence of iron to ion and the presence of high concentration of hydroxide ion. While in test tube R and S, the dark blue spot presents due to the high formation of iron to ion and also the nails start to rust. And test tube T act as a control. To explain this reaction in more detail, we choose the test tube Q as an example. When the iron nail comes into contact with more electropositive metal such as zinc, the rusting of iron nail slows down. Zinc atom release electrons more easily than iron. Zinc corrodes and undergoes oxidation. Zinc at S anode. This is the half equation for oxidation. Electron from zinc flow to iron which add as cathode. At cathode, the electrons are received by the oxygen. Thus, oxygen undergoes reduction producing hydroxide ion which gives a pink color with the penaphthalene indicator. So this is a half equation of the reduction. Iron nail does not corrode, blue spot in test tube did not appear. Next, let's we take a look on the test tube as to explain the formation of dark blue spot. Iron is more electropositive than copper. This means that iron lose electrons more easily than copper. Therefore, iron rusts or it is oxidized. Iron act as anode. This is the half equation of oxidation. Since iron and copper have a large difference in electropositivity, the rusting of iron occurs very quickly, producing a large amount of iron to iron. The electrons flow to copper which act as cathode. At cathode, the electrons are received by the oxygen. Therefore, oxygen is reduced. For question 1, Diagram 1 shows an apparatus set up to investigate the effect of two different metal of metal X and Y on the rusting of iron. Result of this experiment after 3 days is shown on Table 1. Based on Table 1, suggest identity of metal X and Y. Give two reasons for each of your choices. X is copper and Y is zinc. This is because copper is less electropositive than iron. Iron loses electron easily and form iron to iron. This proves the presence of dark blue spot, while Y is zinc because zinc is more electropositive than iron. Zinc loses electron easily than iron, so no formation of dark blue spot because no iron to iron is present. For question 2, Two sets of experiment is carried out to study the effect of other metals on rusting of iron. In set 1, iron nail is coiled with metal P whereas in set 2, an iron nail is coiled with metal Q. Both of the coiled iron nails are dipped into hot jelly solution containing potassium hexacyanoferrate 3 solution and phenolphthalein. The results of experiments are shown in Table 2, based on observation such as metal P and Q. P is copper and Q is zinc. In each set of experiment, explain the observations and include the half equation, then state the metal that is oxidized. In set 1, dark blue color can be observed 
because of the presence of iron to iron. Metal P is less electropositive than iron, so iron loses electron easily than metal P. Iron is oxidized. In set 2, pink color is observed because of the presence of hydroxide ion. Metal Q is more electropositive than iron, so metal Q loses electron easily than iron. Metal Q is oxidized. A. Ways to prevent rusting. Use of protective surface. This method prevents iron from coming into contact with water and oxygen. First, paint, grease and plastic wrappings. Paint for fences, cars and bridges. Oil or grease on car engines. Plastic coatings on wire fences. Using other metals, galvanization. Iron or steel is galvanized with a thin layer of zinc. Zinc forms a protective layer of zinc oxide that is hard, strong, non-porous and protects the iron. Second, thin planting, stannum. Steel plates are plated with an extremely thin layer of tin. Tin forms a layer of oxide protection. And the last one, chrome plating. Used on car bumpers, bicycles, decorative items and others. So here's the example of the fence wire wrap with plastics, galvanic iron roof, food cans plated with tin. B. Sacrificial protection. Iron is attached to a more electropositive metal such as magnesium and zinc. When iron is attached to a more electropositive metal, the more electropositive metal corrodes and rusting can be prevented. The more electropositive metal becomes a sacrificial metal. This sacrificial metal must be replaced from time to time. Sacrificial protection is used for corrosion protection for bridge pillars, ship hulls, and underground pipes. And the last one is C. Alloy. In stainless steel, Iron is alloyed with carbon, chromium, and nickel. Chromium and nickel create a shiny protective corrosion proof outside layer. The outside layer form protects the iron form being exposed to water and oxygen to prevent rusting. Stainless steel is widely used in surgical instruments and kitchen utensils. And that's all from us. Thanks for watching!